Hey everybody, welcome to the Double Stuff Podcast, where double the hosts, double the topics, and double the fun. And I'm Sarah. I'm Charity. Alan. I'm Dan. <laughs> Give yourself your own drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> should have been the end. It should have been the end. There's way too much build We did a cymbal clap. Cymbals. <laughs> <laughs> we did not plan this out. We, we didn't. Our show has too much rhythm. <laughs> I got rhythm. I got music. Oh, that that might be appropriate to what we're talking about. Charity, you want to pick the, uh, see what kind of topics we got to talk about today. <laughs> this is going to be a whole thing. Two okay. rolls in one show. All right. <laughs> First topic: Going to the doctor. Simple clap. Oh, oh <laughs> my favorite. Yay. Okay, and number two: States and capitals. Simple clap. Ooh, s- so, states and capitals. I know Kansas is state and capital. Uh, K. The capital of Kansas <laughs> is K. <laughs> oh, but <I'm- laughs> I'm the winner. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's start with going to the doctor since okay. that's. Medically aesthetic, I guess. I don't. <laughs> oh, hey, thanks for joining us today, guys. <laughs> What's a doctor? <laughs> I, I will say, yeah, a doctor is someone with a white robe and a stethoscope. And he tells you what's wrong with you. And the mirror. I can do that. For- the mirror <laughs> on the head. I like, well, had a chart. I forgot about that. No. And says, oh, the prognosis doesn't yeah. look good. Who just tells you whatever the nurse found out <laughs> yeah, 15 yeah. minutes before. Mm-hmm. It's like, yep, you got strep. And then that's, <laughs> that's it. I will say, I actually prefer the dentist over the doctor. Oh. Even though I guess a dentist is a, what, a tooth I doctor? I do go see the dentist. Thank you, Alan. Twice a year, a, like you're supposed a to? doctor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, at least with a dentist, he's just looking at your mouth. I'm cool with just the mouth, which is super important. It's very important. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking. I'm not. I'm not digging on anybody who goes to school and gets like a doctorate <laughs> or like a, a, a medical doctor. I mean, yeah. there are a lot of doctors out there. But if we're talking about going to the doctor, I always think of if somebody's on a plane and asks for a doctor, no dentist is raising their hand. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. <laughs> they're, they're just looking out the window, just like nope, nope. The, the dentist, nope. the English mate, like the English PhDs, they're not being like, I got you, I got this. I'm covered. a doctor in philosophy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, it's all in quick, your head, give me a sir. Knife. I, like I said, I respect all those things. I'm just if we're talking about going to a medical doctor, that's the only. Like, he might be true. sick, but his teeth will be clean. Dentist is like, what? I doctor kind of the same thing. And I wear glasses. I respect them. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> He's got a cavity. He's not breathing. I can't tell. <laughs> He's going to die. <laughs> well, I mean, have you guys ever gone to like a specialist of mm-hmm. some sort? Oh yeah, yes. yeah. For for all of your ailing needs. Yeah, I went Not to a, a ear, nose, and throat guy that did a great job. Not only that, but he I used to have a my nose was crooked from just being broken. And he punched it the other way. To... Well, I don't know what he did, but when he was done, because I I had the. Uh, the deviated septum thing and i didn't realize in just going how far back the nose goes it goes oh, yeah. all the way like back yeah, eyeballs, right? yeah. <laughs> i just thought it was like right up here <laughs> and so you when, know like a snowman nose just well, a little carrot a on carrot. top so yeah. i had a thing done where um it would open up my nasal passages and while it was healing there was a stint in each of the passages and i had one done and then the other one done and when he was pulling out the stint out of my nose I, it just kept coming and coming and coming. I was like, good grief. And he's like, yeah, the nose is pretty long. Oh, <laughs> it's like man. a magician. Like, yeah. What's this, what's this, what's this? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's a rabbit at the end of the nostrils. Like, oh, yeah. And then after the Here's second one was right done, I looked in the mirror. My nose was straight. And I was like, did you... Did you also straighten up my nose? He goes, you're welcome. (laughs) (laughs) Send me my bill. (laughs) He just slinks into the back. (laughs) Who was that masked man? (laughs) And he was so good, I've never seen another dog. Yeah, that's right. I guess I'm fixed. (laughs) So what about you, Dan? You were about to say something, too. about Uh, When I was a wee lad, I went and got my tonsils out. (laughs) A wee lad. lad. But I don't remember it at all. (laughs) Most of the time, it's like, who's cheap? 
And you do yeah. it like the free that's clinic. That's what you want to ask when you're getting your tonsils taken out? Well, and no, no, no. no, no. As an Other adult. than that. Oh, as an adult. oh okay. Well, and I think that, that we were just at the end of the 50s through the 70s. It was like something everybody did. I know that my dad got his tonsils out because he just, that's just something that, that something they, they did. did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know mine was, well, like I, said, I was mine. very young, but like I, I, was, I think mine were like inflamed or infected or yeah. whatever, and that's Which why would, they got popped. Which so. would require it. <laughs> all yeah. I remember was like it was ice cream and like fruit, like frozen pops ice cream. and stuff all the time afterward. It was great. <laughs> no hot and scratchy food. Yeah. Um, no. But no, I don't. I mean, I've you know been to this, that, and the other thing, but mostly general practitioners. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I kind of. Oh, go ahead, Charity. Were you going to say something? No, I was listening. Oh, to no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Well, kind of like what Dan was saying, kind of made me bring up the thing about kind of like what old school doctors, like, you know, back when doctors used to make house calls, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm sure probably in small towns, doctors probably still they have do that. To, yeah. Mm-hmm. They, they have do not. To. I mean, it depends on well, what small town, on... but like oh, for my true. town, did not, we did not. No. You okay, so you actually in. went to the clinic. We had a there. hospital. I mean, it was a, you know, it was a decent size for its time, but yeah, as this town shrank, you know the hospital is much larger oh, than the yeah. actual population really needs but I, again and i don't know how small you're talking you know i mean if there's like 300 people maybe they make house calls oh, but okay. it seems like in a lot of small towns nowadays you have to go to another town nearby to actually yeah. see a doctor mm. or anything mm. that was the problem with our town is we were going to lose our hospital and then they you know people got together in the community and they put the funds together to open up like a newer oh, wow. uh, one and like save the you know ambulance service and stuff because you have 20 minute drives to get to like an emergency oh, room. Yeah, see that? Yeah, because, oh, 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. That's. That would keep me from living out in a small town, yeah. country yeah. area. Yeah, because, like, that 20, that 20 minutes yeah. does make it. That's, that's a make or break in a lot of situations. Yeah. We were just driving down from Topeka on the Turnpike, and we were outside of Shawnee County. So we were in Osage County, and there was a farmhouse. That was completely engulfed in flames. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. And Mac was like, what are we doing? Or what are we going to do? And I was like, babe, there's nothing that we can do. That house is gone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, we can call 911 and just let them know. Oh, yeah. And they and so we did. We did our due diligence. And they said that fire uh, trucks are, are responding. Mm-hmm. And we drove all the way down the turnpike, never saw a fire truck. So I don't know, but we were going south. They might have had fire trucks coming from the north. Have. So it's super challenging. So like I, I worked yeah. as an EMT uh, for, for a few years and I worked out in Hayes and there was three towns that were in Ellis County that we covered mm-hmm. and they were all 10 to 15 miles apart from each other. But Hayes had the main hospital. So we had branches in each of those towns. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But oh boy, if you got a call for, you know, middle of nowhere, like we had this person that was building a house out in the country somewhere mm-hmm. and he fell through the roof and he oh. broke his leg oh, man. so not like a not like a heart attack like not like a medically yeah. like absolutely present but you got to get out there right yeah. because the dude's you got to save the leg pain, yeah you know, the save leg and everything like that it is so tough when no matter where you're coming from it's just like okay got to look at the map got to figure out the best yeah. route to get there you know if the roads are flooded or something yeah. you got to figure out detours and try to get wow. out there so isn't yeah. there an issue where you can't cross a certain line too because i thought that was an issue like certain like jurisdiction well i thought that was an issue like with police or maybe even like I don't know, fire trucks or something. I thought there was like, you can only go this far. And then if you go past this point, then like there's another closer quote that's unquote, basically closer what we did yeah uh-huh. that, like yeah so like you can only go this far and then you can't pass this line because the other fire truck has to come in because they're yeah so yes and no. so i don't know so it's, if it's, it's county lines yours, and stuff like yeah. that technically it's true i think most people would actually go ahead and do it anyway just to be like on scene and help but they wouldn't be like the main ones yeah. but since we did have three different towns with and we had stations in each one if we got a call within you know x radius of Hayes, the Hayes team would respond but the people in the other town would come to back up basically oh yeah. right because okay. they wouldn't okay. necessarily be able to get there faster or, or first but they wouldn't be like the main people there they would be yeah. just sort of like there in case somebody needs help with anything mm-hmm. so yeah but there there were like divider lines where it was basically yeah. like you know you go here and if it's a call out there then you know the other people come and respond mm-hmm. absolutely I don't know how we got onto this with doctors, but <laughs> yeah. it just well, to say that like to small towns are hard <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when it yeah, comes to medical sure. emergencies. Oh, yeah. Now this is taking it from a whole other twist, but it's just because of the way my mind works. So while in, in reality, going to the doctor hospital and stuff, it can be very detrimental to your health, but I love how it works in the realm of comedy. 
because there's so many hospital farce movies and sometimes a lot of sitcoms the funniest things happen in waiting rooms and i've all <laughs> i've always <laughs> i've always thought that on tv the hospital and waiting rooms what i call a, a paradoxical gold mine because while it means pain and suffering in real life it can be the funniest thing on tv and so some of my favorite scenes on TV takes place in the waiting room. We have the expectant fathers, right? And they're all like, oh, no, oh, no. And so they're pacing around, you know, making a circle, or they accidentally smoke a cigarette on the wrong end, or they realize they're not even in the right hospital, or you have the, you know, you have the parent argument or whatever. And the, or you have stuff that actually takes place in the hospital room. Like there's a Jerry Lewis movie that me and Charity like, and oh, one, yeah. <laughs> and, one, and one of the guys he completely like ban he's banished from head toe looks like a mummy and so he's trying to get out of the hospital goes down the, the wheelchair goes down the stairs tumbling down so like in a movie sense the doctor is always something kind of funny so I was wondering did you guys think about that in a in a cinematic sense or is just is just me because I'm always thinking about humor which that probably I think answers said, I think that. of Scrubs. Just the TV show. Okay, really like watching that. That's and I miss that. Yeah. And I, I don't yeah. know anybody that's ha ever had a bad thing to say about that, but I've just totally missed that series. Oh, it was good. It, it was, was good. Yeah, I yeah. really liked it. Oh, yeah. That was like but early 2000s. It, was, it yeah. was a it was a funny, like it was a comedy, and it was a situational comedy for the most part, but it was also very serious about it. So it wasn't yeah. like just a lot of slapstick, you know, uh, Benny Hill like running around type yeah. stuff, but <laughs> yeah. it had humor to it. Mm. <clears throat> I've just always liked the humor. Even when I was hospitalized in my halfway drug-induced state that they had me in, partly the maybe the comedic side of my brain is like, okay, I'm waiting for some goofy doctor <laughs> to come in or someone with all the syringes, and then they trip, and then all the needles just start landing on people. That's because, a dentist sketch on Carol Burnett. So oh, that is a dentist sketch. <laughs> <That's> so good. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, from a, hum from a comedy standpoint, I like doctor stuff, but of course in real life that's not always the case. But I just kind of wanted to give my views on that one in terms of Medical world in real life, medical world in comedy. Well, sort of makes me think of because today is the 50th anniversary of Mash. The oh first yes, episode. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So a little doctor trivia, fun facts in there. Yeah. My Mash grandpa could series. not get into that. He was uh, he he would not watch Mash because he didn't think that war was anything to joke about. Well, I so think he just mm -hmm. refused. I think that was kind of the whole point of it. They use that to <clears throat> they use humor to keep themselves from just completely having a nervous breakdown well i think some people did he watch the movie though like versus the series because oh, no, some people like the either. movie and they the, hated the, the series the movie yeah the movie is night and day different than the series oh yes yeah, absolutely yeah. Yeah. so but well, so, <laughs> okay so something completely different uh states and capitals so when you guys were in school the the teachers literally scare you into learning your states and capitals no. unless you would not pass the class god no yep okay because me and charity were definitely given the fear mongering <laughs> of that and it was like if you don't pass your states and capitals quiz you're, you're not, not going to make it to third grade or fourth grade. Well, i don't know what any of the states and capitals are <laughs> <laughs> i think i still remember some of them because we had to do states and capitals and then we had to memorize all the presidents the, up till that year mm -hmm. and the, and we and we did the provinces of canada which admittedly i don't remember oh all of those. i didn't do that we did that in fifth grade okay yeah nope didn't do that <laughs> we had different fifth grade teachers <laughs> yeah well we had the same one but different situations but <laughs> but I, I i was bringing up the states and capitals things because every once in a while and i really haven't fully studied this since elementary school but every once in a while maybe like once a year or something sometimes me and charity just kind of randomly like quiz each other ish on like <laughs> <laughs> or, or we kind of we kind of like say it's true. we do they're like you know what's what's the capital of of north dakota Saratoga. Bismarck or Pierre? <laughs> uh, Bismarck, North Dakota should be Pierre, South Dakota. Right? Okay, I see it. But obviously, we know okay. how my fourth grade test went. <laughs> I probably got those wrong. <laughs> so I was just curious. Do you, I know you're talking about how much you don't know, but <laughs> like Texarkana, that's a that's a capital, right? <laughs> that's right. Kansas City is the capital of Kansas. <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, I always thought it was like, well, you're you're from you went to California, so yeah. do, do you know what the state capital of California is? Of course. You Tell guys, us, Alan. Sacramento? No! No, I'm just yes, kidding. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, and funny enough, it, it, only because I obviously love Kansas, and I grew up in Topeka, 
but for people like <laughs> when we were when we were moving from uh, California to Kansas, I mean, there's all kinds of groups out there that like give their comments on like why you should live in Kansas or why not. And one of the things that kept coming up about Topeka was that it was the armpit of Kansas, and like it was like just <laughs> people were just saying that, all, and I was like, it's not an armpit, you know? I mean, it's got challenges. It's the clavicle, obviously. But I don't know if that's just like the curse of like a capital city because it's got to be right. Well, it's the same in California. People call Sacramento the armpit of California. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. What yeah. does that mean, though? Yeah, like it just means like there's L.A. Yeah. There's um, San Diego. There's, there's San, San Francisco. Francisco. There's all these wonderful places to live. So that's why would you live? That's oh, the last yeah. place you yeah. want to go. I, to. I think that's kind of what okay. it is. It, yeah. It, kind of like in Kansas. I mean, we have Wichita. You have um, the exactly. Kansas City <laughs> portion. You know, you have yeah. Lawrence. Um, there's there's a lot of, of very populated places that offer a lot of progress and diversity mm -hmm. and things like that. But yet it's Topeka. Not named five yeah. towns in western Kansas. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm just, it's so funny because we talk about yeah, that. Yeah. It's like Wichita, Topeka, Lawrence. Like we can rattle those off. Right? Well, yeah, like, yeah. I, always, I often think of that too. Like when you're watching like the, the weather report at night, they're talking about Wichita. I'm like, what if you're in Hugoton, yeah. you know? Oh, growing up in, in, in Larned, you know, we would watch KSN yeah. and it was always like the Wichita weather. It's like, okay, I guess it's going to kind of be like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look for the big map to come up with yeah. like a little dot that was in a town near you. And they do the same it on you. It was near. And they do the same thing in Topeka. It's like uh, here's the Topeka weather. Yeah. And so if you're the rest even of close, screwed. yeah, yeah, find out your own weather. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not in like Salina. Wichita, <laughs> Topeka, yeah. or something like that. You're, yeah. You the, the, just the, ma the major, in the major <laughs> cities, yeah. I guess it kind of makes sense. Yeah. I know um, when we first moved to Kansas, just because I didn't know what some of the cities were, you know, I was looking at like, yeah, it's going to be such and such in Manhattan. I'm like, New York? Uh, you know? That's the big apple. Or, or like, the little apple. Yeah, or, or, like they say Pis apple. or like they say Or like they say Pittsburgh. And I, Pittsburgh. And uh -huh. I showed my ignorance because somebody was like, oh, and then they laughed at me because they're like, you stupid idiot, it's yeah. Kansas. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You cities look like <laughs> And to, part of me is... We got all the good is, places like Coffeeville, <laughs> where there's no coffee. Where there's no coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and then tea town where there's no tea yeah. <laughs> but i was just curious like with some of the states you guys have visited mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know off hand you know in terms of you know like okay the big one because we're originally from indiana so the capital of indiana is indianapolis, indianapolis. Yeah. right you know so at least some of some of those ha kind of has the name it's like the main it. city that you think of is like the yeah. capital but then there yeah. are ones that think like, like new york Washington. but it's albany yeah yeah like, yeah, yeah. Like, albany. Well, like washington is like olympia mm -hmm. i think yeah. uh Which olympia almost yeah. like a mm -hmm. suburb of <laughs> it yeah. seems yeah. like i mean we were there once like we visited it once, and I was like, oh yeah, this is, because like we were driving downtown, and I was like, there's the Capitol building, and I was like, oh, this is the Capitol, it's not Seattle. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, I think um, Vermont, Montpelier. Montpelier. Yeah, like like some of them, some of them kind of, you hear that. Some of them are so weird that you remember them, like Vermont. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Vermont. But Sorry, you're Vermont. Weird. <laughs> you're weird. Well, I think, but Montpelier is like, I, I think it's like a super small town, too. And it's like, oh, this it's in a super small state. All well, those, yeah. All those are like historic stuff up there. Yeah, like, like, oh, like yeah. The, what, the, fir the top, yeah. thir the first 13 colonies of the U.S. Yeah. is like right yeah. there. We need to have an official place to hang people. Montpelier. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible that'll, logic. That'll be our that'll capital. Be it. That's where we're going to set up shop. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Where do we put these gallows? <laughs> that, that took a turn. That's going back to the doctor, isn't it? So uh, quiz time then. West could, Virginia. Ooh, I said Charleston? I, I don't know. Oh. Why, am I, why are you asking me? I was just giving you know. You said you know all these things. So. Oh, my God. I, was, yeah, I know states. <laughs> I know what uh, Wyoming... Is that Cheyenne? Cheyenne? Yeah, Cheyenne. Cheyenne. There's only 50 of them. There's only 50? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, the obvious ones. Hawaii, <laughs> capital of Hawaii. I mean, I'm assuming Honolulu, but I wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. Honolulu. <laughs> Alaska. Anchorage? Nope. Nope. Dang. No, oh. Juno. Yep. Yeah, oh, Juno. I knew that. Okay, so our grandma, we've talked about this before. Our yeah. grandma gave us the states and capitals puzzle. puzzle. And so when she's going through those, I can see the puzzle in my head. Because you, <laughs> yeah. you have to pick up the puzzle and like lift up the state. And then and underneath have the capital it under was it. the capital. Ah. So like I have to think ah. in my head of picking up a puzzle. Was it piece. one of those fun puzzles where it's like the state and then there's there's like a, a fun little illustration that like uh -huh. encapsulates that Yeah, we had, yeah, we had, we had two of them. Yeah. Two of them. What was yeah. Topeka? Oh, I think it's just like sunflowers whenever oh, okay. it gets to Kansas. Yeah. It was, once you get rural, you just yeah. get, so we we get, get windmills. Like, uh, and... Americans shooting the, yeah. the dome. So At Astra. Yeah. Maybe that was it. 
Did, did you guys learn the mimal thing nope. when you were learning the... Because I don't yeah, know what you're talking Minnesota, about. Minnesota, Iowa, <laughs> Missouri, Alabama, Arkansas, 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 Louisiana. Louisiana. Talk about he's, the man? Yeah, he's yeah, the, chef, the chef. The chef in the middle of America. Yeah, yeah, yeah plus he's got the little backpack of Kansas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, it was called mimal, or that was the, the acronym. Cause, huh. yeah. I know uh-huh. in Michigan... Because Minnesota's the chef It hat. looks like a right. hand, or and no, Michigan, or, people yeah. will, mm-hmm. will point to, the, like, the palm of their hand or what part of their hand yeah. to represent where they are in Michigan. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. how I was able to recognize Indiana because I'm in Italy with a boot. Now, Italy has like a high heel boot, but Indiana has like it's a, a pioneer boot. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how I was able to remember Indiana. Don't they know? do that with Texas too because it looks like a finger? Like a, Does it? Like a pointer? Uh, nobody can see R- what I'm doing. Wrong getting. finger. <laughs> 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 put it, put it. like I live right here. I'm offended. I'm offended. I know I said that in the New York style. <laughs> the Texas style but <laughs> I always remember Oklahoma because it reminded me of a. They call it a pancake, but it reminded me of like a pot, like a hand, yeah. like a skillet or something. So, hmm. so the like, Kansas just looks like the Cookie Monster took a little nibble out of the top part of our. Spoon. Yeah, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> <laughs> he left the rest of it alone, but he had a little nibble That's of the right. cookie. It was always difficult when you get further west because some of the states look pretty square, like Wyoming or Nevada or something like mm-hmm. that. They all look like squares. So, But I, I was able to identify them by certain shapes. That actually helped me a lot. So. I can identify like all the, the states, like no problem. The capitals, I just I never capitals. learned those. I, I need my grandma's puzzle. That's true, yeah. yeah. And then when, when, when we find it or buy it, we'll have to do a quiz <laughs> with all four of us see if we can you know name that state. Wait, what's all? Minnesota? Oh, Minnesota. Uh... St. Paul? St. Yes. Paul, Is yes. It? Okay. Yay! Yeah, St. Yeah. Paul. Because Minneapolis and St. Paul are kind of like they're yeah. twin cities, right? Yeah. Like Minnesota right was dark blue uh, and Iowa was orange. Yeah. Anyway, I'm still on the puzzle. Sorry. Still on- <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she's in heaven saying, I can't believe they She's probably going to meet me at the pearly gates with that puzzle. With that puzzle? Like, <laughs> I gave you this puzzle. You better <laughs> you, remember you need this. this. <laughs> So, thank you guys for this oddly educational (laughs) episode of some sort. Um, So, if you want to listen to more episodes, uh, you can binge listen on our website at doublestuffpod.com or listen, uh, our newer episodes are on the podcast platforms. You can also listen on YouTube. We also have Facebook and Instagram, which is Double Stuff Podcast, and on Twitter, the Double Stuff P, and that's the letter P. P -P -P. Symbol crash. Symbols. (laughs) Good job, everybody.